the name of this episode is called The Art of Secrecy. And now that Desiree and Cal have Andrew in the sheriff's office and they showed him that he purposely burnt down the house with Brian and Lynn in it. Now they're looking to lock down Andrew. So they want to know everything. He's like, you want to know everything? You want to know everything? F you, Desiree. (laughs) And he basically says, I want my lawyer. Where's my lawyer? I'm not telling you nothing. And of course, Desiree, she puts her head down like, okay, okay. You know, because they thought that they got him. They thought that he was just going to give up or whatever the case. He's like, nah, mm -mm, you're not getting me. Where's my lawyer? Get my lawyer right now. And, you know, she's just like, all right, whatever. You know what I'm saying? We got you. And Cal's like, yeah, we got you. It doesn't matter. You can get your lawyer all you want. But they want to know the truth. They want to know more. And he's like, well, why don't you check into Malcolm? And they're like, Malcolm? He's like, you know what? Take him away. But hold on. Why should we check into Malcolm? And Andrew was like, you know why? You know who he is, right? Because you slept with him, right? (laughs) You sleep with all of your subordinates, right? (laughs) And Andrew blew up the spot and look at Cal, her current lover, like, what? Is he serious, right? (laughs) And look at Andrew's face. (laughs) Andrew is laughing his ass off because we find out that Desiree is community property. Ah, man, your boy Cal is steamed. He is, man, he's so upset. (laughs) And Andrew's laughing. He's like, oh, you are probably her current lover, huh? Yeah, you didn't know that she gets around, huh? (laughs) And Cal is looking at Desiree like, oh, my God, really, man, really? So Cal, they take him away, and Cal's like, I got to get some air. And she's like, you, you don't believe him, do you? you? You don't believe him. He's a liar, right? He's like, whatever, you know, I got to go outside and get some air. She's like, yo, we got a case. He's like, I'll be right back. I know. But he just needs to get away from this chick because, man, to find out that your lover, your current lover on the low is a hoe, that is not a good thing to find out. So <laughs> Desiree We find out a whole lot about you that, yeah, Cal is not the only one and you were sleeping with Malcolm and Malcolm sleeps with everybody. So here we are. We have Peter and Aaron. And yes, they stop into a town far away. So Aaron pulls out the phone, and says, call your dad and do what the highest said to do. So Aaron does call the senator, his father, tells him everything is okay. The senator's like, oh, we're concerned. We sent the FBI. He's like, come on, dad. Everything is fine. We got bad reception out here. Don't worry about it. Uh, How's the Raku thing? Oh, oh, it's wonderful. It's a wonderful place. They're good people. He's just lying and lying and lying. And he gives back the phone and Peter crushes the phone and the card and everything or whatever the case. He's like, all right, time to go back. So your boy, A.A. Ron Aaron grabs a stick And knocks Peter over the head. Blow. And yes, he grabs the keys to the truck, jumps in the truck, and tries to get away. Again, Peter, he gets up, and he's like, oh, my God. He tries to shoot at Aaron while he's trying to get away in the truck. All he does is just smashes the windows in the back, but Aaron seems to get away in the truck. Yeah, your boy is out of here, right? He's like, I'm gone. I ain't going back. <laughs> He's ready to go. He's not going back for Laura. He's out. And yes, Peter is definitely hurt. And now he has to walk back. So here we are once again. Man, the worst punishment ever in the history of Ruthless. The girl, Lacey. Man, I feel bad for you. Yes, 17 men pounded on your girl to impregnate her and yes it is a sad day your girl zane is trying to hold down lacy as she's crying and everything so it's finally over and they pull her back slide her back into this punishment trailer chamber man it's the worst again the worst so she's like yes well finally you're going to have a child And it's going to be a bastard child. And that's what you get for trying to get away and all of this and that. And she's like, you know what? If it doesn't work, we're going to try again. 
It's like, what? This is crazy. Lacey's crying. You know, Zane is like, yo, that's 17 guys. She was like, you counted? She's like, yeah, it was 17 guys. I'm sure she's going to be okay. She's going to be all right. She's going to have a baby. It's going to go through. But your girl, Elda Madamava, is the worst. She is the worst. And Zane has to play along. She's like, you know, and she's asking her questions. And she's like, answer her, you, 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 you traitor. And it's like, man, like to have to go through all of that and Elder Mother Marva just putting her through this torture like she says she would. This is definitely on brand for Elder Mother Marva to do this to Lacey. Because, again, Lacey did embarrass her by getting away from Elder Mother Marva. So hopefully Lacey will make it. She's a G in this thing. But Elder Mother Marva's having the time of her life torturing her look at her face so evil elder madamava your evil gal what is wrong with you so they finally leave and zane looks back just really really feeling sad for lacy let's see what happens next poor lacy i hope you make it through it you will because you're an og you're a real g so here we are with the scissor action from the lois and roof they just got finished and he's like oh my god you make me feel so good. You know, you're, you're the best. You're the best. And she's like, I know, I know. <laughs> she's like, I, I know, I got you, you know. I got you, I, I got you, Hyas, you know. And he's like, you know, you, I've never been with a woman like this before. You know, it's like, you are the best. And she's like, you know, yes, we're going to have a wonderful child. And, you know, did you know that this will be your seed and that this will be the you know, original, the only seed coming from a woman. He's like, yes, because I've never been with a woman before. You know, all of my children are through other people. But yes, you will be the one to bear my child, the wife to be and everything else like that. And she's like, yeah. Um, so what happened to the children? You know, when are they coming back? You know, where are they? And he starts to fiddle on her knee and he's trying to avoid the question. And he gets up and he's you know, he's not answering the question. He's like, well, why are you not answering? Like, what's going on? I just want to kiss you. I just want to kiss you. So he starts to kiss her and goes down to the kitty cat and he starts licking the kitty cat. And she's like, oh, yes, you're highest. And she starts faking. Like it feels good. She just wants to know where Callie is and where the kids are. And she's trying to get something out of him because the plan has changed, right? So after the lickety splickety, you know, Ruth puts her clothes on and she starts to talk to him about the food and Elder Mother Marva. She's like, uh, listen, do you know that Elder Mother puts stuff in the food? You know, he's like, yeah, I know about that. I already know about that, you know, yeah, she put some stuff, some, you know, spices and stuff or whatever. It's like, yeah, but no, this is like, you know, drugs in the food. And she's like, really? Uh, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, uh, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. But did you know that she put stuff in your food? He's like, nah, she'd never do that. You know, she's a great, great woman. And she's like, huh, okay. And it's like, well, I think she's putting stuff in your food. You know, it's like, no, he's no, she's not. No, she's not. Now go and get my food because I'm hungry. Go now and get the food. Right. So he wasn't trying to hear it. He is, you know, putting Elder Mother Marva on a pedestal. He's not trying to hear nothing that Ruth is saying, telling her, go get his food. And he's hungry. And that's it. But he is thinking about it. You already know he's looking at Ruth like, hmm, there may be something to this. You know, she knows how to like press his buttons. Aaron is trying to get away, and yes, this truck has broken down. So yes, Aaron now has to go on foot. I mean, he's trying to get to some type of authority. He's trying to get back to his father so really they can get this whole campus, rock douchey campus shut down. So now he's on foot. So here we are with your boy River rolling up on Ruth because she's trying to go, you know, get the food ready. And he's like, did you do it? Did you do it? Did you try? Did you try to get him high? She's like... You know, I tried, I tried, but, you know, he didn't want to do it. And she's like, nah, you're lying, Ruth. You didn't even try to do it. And she's like, lower your voice, lower your voice. We had to change the plan. You know, the children are not here. Where are the children at? You know, the children are not here like you said they would be here. He's like, whatever. So they start going back and forth. This whole episode is a whole bunch of cat fighting back and forth at this point with Ruth. And 
with River and she's like, get up out of here. And now he's going to go and try to mess around and see what's up with the, the highest and see what he can do. Right. So here we go with Ruth going to Elda Maramava. And he's like, yeah, you know, the highest wants his food. She's like, I know that. I figured that. I figured that already. Right. She's like, OK, well, let's let's go get the food. So she's like, come on, lady. Come on. Let's let's go. Let's go. So, of course, here we go with another cat fight. She's like, where are you going? I'm going with you. I'm going to take his food to him. You know, no, you're not. No, you're not. I'm going to take the food. So they go back and forth about who's going to take the food to the highest. She's like, you think you're all that? I'm still mad at you for slapping me. And she's like, listen, woman, I'm going with you. And I know you're putting stuff in his food or whatever the case is, but I'm going to take the food to him. She's like, no, you're not. And they go back and forth. And here they go. Now off. Go ahead, ladies. Go to the kitchen so you could prepare the highest food. But here is another face off between these two that we know and love. <laughs> right. They just rah, 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 back and forth. Yeah. Here we go. So now Daikon goes to the highest. Hey, highest, how you doing? He's like, hey, hey, how's it going? Did did, uh, you know, Aaron come back yet? Did uh, Andrew come back? Did you know, he's asking these questions. He's like, yo, that makes me nervous. That that makes me uneasy. He's like, no, they're not back yet. They will be back. And Daikon's trying to assure them, right? He's like, yeah, you know, uh, Ruth just left. Yeah, she is wonderful. You know, did you know that she is going to be the one to be the first one to bear my child? You know, a pure child. And Daikon puts his head down. He's like, listen, I want you to protect her. Put your best men on her. You know, she is to be protected at all times. And your boy Daikon looks like he is crying, right? So first he was rejected twice by the highest, but now he's like, yes, protect Ruth at all costs. You know, she is going to bear my child. Your boy Daikon is so upset right now, so disappointed because he wants to be the one to be by his side. But yes, he is now the highest is now big enough. Ruth is like, go now and protect her. Tell her to go to the to trailer and go protect her. Go protect my, the the wife to be, right? So here we are in the kitchen. Why are you watching me like a hawk? It's like, because I know you put stuff in the highest food and I don't want you to put stuff in his food. I'm just putting in spices. Get out of here. Go away. Get out of here, <laughs> right? So they're going back and forth and Ruth was like, nope, I'm not leaving. I'm going to stay right here. You know, <laughs> she's just going to bother her and watch her and everything else like that. And Elder Mother Marva has a big problem with anyone watching her put that extra stuff in the highest food because, you know, it's a special ingredient to keep him either calm or he's going to get upset. So Daikon comes like, what is going on here? Eh? What's going on with the highest food? You know, she's watching me like a hawk. I don't want her in here, you know, in here. <laughs> And he's like, go to your trailer, go to your trailer, Ruth. And she's like, what? You know, no, the highest sent me to do it. No, no, no. The highest sent me to send you to your trailer. It's fine. OK, it's fine. Just just go to your trailer. All right. And that's it. All right. So, of course, Elder Mother Mom is like, hey, hey, yeah, that's right. Go, go, go. And look at Ruth. She's just real upset. Like, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm the wife to be. How dare you? But whatever. OK, Daikon. So he's looking at. You know, Daikon is looking at Elder Mother Marvel like, OK, you know what to do. Keep doing what you're doing. So she runs after Daikon and asks Daikon, hey, Daikon, did you know that Elder Mother Marvel is putting stuff in the highest food? And he's like, yeah, I know that. But he can't know that. Right. He has to take this medicine so he doesn't go crazy. But, you know, it does affect his mood. Right. Either he's happy or he's mad or whatever. We know that. But he has to take his medicine. He doesn't want to take his medicine. So this is the only way we can get him to take his medicine. So Daikon knows that they're putting drugs in his food. And look at Ruth like so surprised or whatever. And Daikon again, not really liking the whole situation, but she can't tell the highest, right? He can't know. So here we are with your boy River. Oh, yeah, you know, the highest called me. He's like, no, he didn't. What are you talking about, River? You know, scumbag man. He's like, what are you talking about? No, he didn't. Yes, he did. You better tell him. You better ask him. He's like, oh, yeah, bring him in. So <laughs> River goes in and yo, boy, the highest is a Thai boho <laughs> doing all these Pilates moves and all these different moves and whatever the case is like, hey, highest, I'm, 
I'm here to uh, help you with anything. Do you need anything? Because his mission is to get the highest high. He's like, yeah, you know, I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. He's like, no, I can, I can get the magic for you. He's like, oh, that would be good. It could be a magical night. But no, Ruth told me not to do it. Ruth told me I'm good without it. I'm okay, right? I'm okay. So River's just like, really? Ruth told you that? So now River found out. That Ruth told the highest not to get high. Not that she tried or anything else like that, but Ruth did lie to River and Ruth gave him the other magic. He's like, all right, well, I don't need you. Goodbye. Get out, River. Go. You can go now. <laughs> so the highest is not getting high tonight. So they finally bring Lacey back to the women's trailer and she tells Zane to lock her up and Lock her to the bed like she is never going to get away, according to Elder Madamava. She's like, in the morning, you're going to go to the washroom and you're going to wash everything. OK, and that's it. All right. Don't look at me like that. Or I'm going to torture you again. Right. So Elder Mother Marva leaves. And she's like, yes, yes, Elder Mother. Yes, Elder Mother. You know, she's playing the game. And then once she leaves, man, ah, oh, man, I need to get out of this. You know, this is crazy. And she's like. You know, act act the act the way you're supposed to act, right? Zane has got to play the role. She's like, hey, just just play along, play along. And here we go. She's yelling and screaming. Laura wakes up, and Laura's like, what's going on? And Zane is like, no, it's okay. Go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. She's like, I can't sleep. I've been throwing up all night and all of this and that. And then Lacey's like, yeah, because it's the stuff in your and the food that you ate, and they drugged you up and everything else like that, and you're throwing up in your body is rejecting it. So keep throwing up. That's right. And and Zane is like, yo, chill. Like, don't tell her. Like, you know, she's like, don't tell her anything. But Lacey's going off. And then what? Laura throws up again. Yeah, they keep taking this whole thing and then washing it and replacing it. Yeah, the drugs are trying to get out of your body to clean it out. And then you'll be good. Don't eat anything. Don't drink anything that they give you because all they're doing is just trying to, you know, Get you all messed up. And she's like, oh, my God, this is crazy. For real? Are you serious? She's like, look at me. I'm locked up. This place is crazy. You know, this is not paradise. This is insane. She's like, oh, my God, where's my husband? I got to get out of here. And Zane is like, calm down. Sit down. Go back to sleep. You don't want to do this right now. Go back to sleep. You got to play the role. You're going to get put into the punishment trailer. And your girl Lacey's like, that's right. S sit back down. Lay down. You got to play the game in order to get out of here because they're going to put you in the punishment trailer. They just gang banged me, you know, and it's crazy. And she's like, what? Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. So she's telling Laura the truth. Zane is just standing there. She's like, oh, my God, I got to get out of here. I didn't know this is what it was. And da -da 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 -da. so, yeah, now Laura knows the truth. Joan surprises River and he says he's waiting for his love for Pete. She doesn't believe that this plan is going to go through, but he's like, listen, it's going to happen. I'm just waiting for him to go back. 3 a.m. We are out of here, right? We're going. But the highest is not high. The plan's not going through. It's not happening. Joan is like, I'm out of here. Your plan definitely didn't work. And yes, River is concerned as to where Peter is, but Peter's not coming back anytime soon. So here we are with Aaron. He's walking on the road. He sees a light from a car. He's like, please stop. Stop. Turn your lights out. I can't see. Please turn your lights out. You know, turn your lights down. It's too bright. Right. And the car rolls up and it looks to be a police car. Is this the sheriff? Is this the deputy? Is this someone else? Who could it be? Are they down with the rock who we shall see in the next episode of Tyler Perry's Ruthless? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like the vibe. See you next time. Salute.